this front bed, I made some notes. Tra crate Myrtle's gonna be dead wooded, Yucca's out, Nana out, Juniper out. We'll replace the Juniper with something like a Taylor Juniper. We'll leave the um, Indian Hawthorn back here in the back. Those look good. The Yucca needs to come out and probably need to be sprayed first. Um, Nana's can come out and use something a little bit more uh, eye-catching like a uh, Sunshine Lacustrum. And then down here, we'll do some nice perennials. The same thing on this side. The Juniper out, the Nana's out. Leave the Torfeo pond, the Indian Hawthorn behind them are fine. And we'll want to backplant that with something that's got a little bit of height and it could be something as simple as a Burford Holly or a um, Miscanthus. Um, leave the existing crepe myrtle, but do a really good pruning on it to get clearance from the house. The yuccas come out. Wax leaf ligustrum need to come out and we'll probably do something similar to what we're doing here. Leave the Indian Hawthorn, leave the Torfeo pond holly, leave the, the Dwarf Burford holly. Yuccas come out and we'll do a little bit of, uh, of a long blooming perennial right here. Um, and what we'll probably do is make that into a half color, half um, planted uh, bed. Um, so we do some kind of simple little evergreen giant larivae um, along the back and annual color or long blooming perennials like Texas primrose or calilophus in the front.